Hello friends and welcome to Studio Sundays where I hang out in the studio, film a video, and then I post it on a Sunday. My name is Paige. I'm an artist, I guess, and I work for a CEO named Blue. <laughs> Today in the studio we're going to be adding some color to the ocean themed mug we worked on the last episode. And that's pretty much all we're going to do today, so let's get into the stuffs. Alright, so here's our mug. Look at that, look at that. I think it looks pretty cute. I gave it a little bit of a brushing with a little paintbrush and some water. So we're going to add some color to this, and I want to start with adding some colored slip, and then we'll go in and add some underglaze for the more detailed parts. Let me see here. I'm definitely going to do some squigglies. You know how I do. I think green and blue squigglies would be good because of the ocean. I think I'll do a blue squiggly on the top and a green squiggly on the bottom. We'll see how it goes from there. Let's start with this robin's egg blue on the top. Add that squiggly right on the rim there. Bam! Blue squiggle in the house. Alright, now I think I'm gonna go with this Bermuda and do the squiggle on the bottom. Boom! Green squiggle. You can't really tell that these are blue or green. They are. You'll see. You'll see later on. I think that looks pretty good. I also put green on the handle. Right now, what we're gonna do, I don't even know what we're gonna do next, honestly. But I did want to do little fishies on the base here, and maybe a jellyfish and stuff. Let me go get some reference photos of some fish, and then right back to figure out what we're gonna do next. Alrighty, so I think I got a plan here. Got some references of some schools of fish and some jellyfish, because I really want to add a jellyfish. I'm thinking putting a jellyfish here and like maybe a tinier one over here, and then a school of fish just flying through here, and then maybe a little bit of seaweed coming up on the edge there. And I think that's probably enough stuff. I'm gonna add the jellyfish with this alumina pink. And we're just gonna add like a base to all the slip fishing stuff, and then we'll go in with some underglaze later to add even more details. But let's just start with that. I'm gonna add some jellyfish up in this business over here. I hope everyone is having a good day today. I'm having an all right day, I suppose. I'm trying my best. I think now would be a good time for the question of the day. And. Today's question is, what is your favorite cereal of choice? It's a hard one, I know. I don't really eat much cereal these days, but I like I like corn pops. I like those honeycomb guys. Lucky Charms have always been a favorite of mine, but I can't have gluten anymore, so a lot of these cereals I can't even I can't even have anymore, but I think the memory is usually better than the actual thing most of the time though. I remember the last time I had Fruit Loops, I was like, huh, I remember these being better than they were. Things taste better when you're a kid. Like pizza pops aren't really that good. But as a kid, they're delicious somehow. I don't know what that that's about, but it is strange. So let me know in the comments below what your favorite cereal is to uh, cross-reference some stuff. This is our jellyfishes so far. Sorry, the lighting, you can't win them all, right? You can't win them all. I'm gonna go add these bad boys and then I will be right back. Alright, there's our jellies. I don't know if I love them yet. Maybe once I add some details, I'll like them more. Now I think I might add some schools of fish over here going in around there. So the school of fish, I think, are just going to be black, white, and yellow. I'm just going to use my mason black, white stain slip, and the canary yellow. So I'm going to go add those in, and then I will be right back. Alright friends, so I added just a base of the fish in a white. That looks pretty good. I feel like this jellyfish I just made too big. I feel like I should redo it while I'm waiting for this white to dry. I think I'll go in and try to base out a turtle over here. I don't know how. I'm gonna go grab a reference photo of a turtle and then maybe add one and then maybe move where this jellyfish is. I don't know. But when I'm back, things will be making more sense, I hope. Alright, we've got a few changes here. 
I did end up adding some seaweed. I used the same slip as the squiggle and I dragged it up and squiggled it. I think it adds some nice depth to the mug. Started a little Nemo right there. I did change this jellyfish and I made it into two jellyfish. This mug has taken a while. I think I'll paint the barnacles white and maybe I'll base out the shell and the starfishes and then we'll see where we are from there. I'll be right back. All right, let's see what we got here. I based out this starfish in a tangerine orange stain. I based out all the barnacles just in a white. And I based this other starfish in a purple that I mixed with the pink and the blue. Oh my god, there's like so much to do still. <laughs> I think what we're going to do next is add the details to the school of fish. So I'm just going to add some black lines and maybe some yellow on the fins. I'll show you that when I get back. Bam! School of fish. I might carve in the eyes later and maybe some fin carving too, but that looks pretty cute. I even got a little Nemo over there. I think I'll add some more details to him in underglaze, but I think he looks pretty cute. I decided to add a clownfish because my dad is a little bit of a clown and this is for him. Before we put away the slip, I might base out the octopus in white, maybe? And then we can go in with some underglaze. I'll be right back. All right, well, we're waiting for me to do that. Let's check in and see what the Dewey Daily is today. That just made me want to take a nap. All right, this mug is getting out of hand, honestly. <laughs> I decided to base out the octopus in a yellow instead of white because in my reference photo, he's kind of translucent and you can kind of see some yellow undertones. So I'm hoping it comes out when I bring in some of the details on that guy. What we're gonna do next is get some of these starfishes done. I think I'll start with this purple one over here. I'm just gonna go in with this amethyst underglaze. And also this lilac underglaze. The amethyst, since it's darker, I'll go in with the crevices and add some shadows. And then the lilac, I'll just add some highlights. Bam, there's the amethyst. I'm gonna go in to a little lilac highlighting. Usually I underglaze when it's bone dry, so it doesn't take forever for the underglaze to dry. And you can't win them all, so um, let me go do those lilac highlights. Boom. There's the lilac. I don't know if it looks any different, but I added it. I'm not going to add any of the dots until it's dried more. So let's move on to the orange starfish. So the colors that I'm going to use for this bad boy are flame orange, real orange, and bright red. I think I'm going to go in with the bright red first and do the shadows so we can mute the brightness of the red with the orange later on. So let me go do that. Boom! Bright red is on that bad boy, just uh, around the edges there. Now I'm going to go in with the flame orange, blend that out a little bit. Boom, it added the uh, flame orange. It's a bit aggressive. I'm honestly wishing I made this starfish a little smaller though also, but you can't win them all. Now I'm going to go in with the real orange over top of that, and then I'll probably let it dry, and then I might add some yellow and white later, dots and stuffs. So I'm gonna go do that. Boom. I think I'm gonna leave it like that for now. Let it dry a little bit. Now let's move on to the jellyfish, I think. I think I'm just gonna go in with the lilac and add some lines and such, some definitions, and then I'll be right back. Bam. Okay, so I added a bunch of different colors. I think I added lilac, bright red, yellow, light blue, and white. I just kind of layered it all in that order. There is our jellyfish. Now let's move over to this starfish again. Add some of those white spot details. I'll be right back. Boom, there's our starfish. I added some yellow and some light blue just for funsies. And now I think I might just go into these seaweed bits and add a little bit of darker green, maybe some red, just to make those pop a little bit better. My goodness. All right. I'll be right back with, uh, with, with that progress. 
Bam, there's our seaweed. Add a little bit of dark green on some of those just to make it pop a little bit. I think I'm gonna move on to the seashell. I'm also thinking of just dry brushing some black over the barnacles. Maybe some yellow, actually. Anyways, I think I'm gonna work on this shell. Don't really know what I'm gonna do, but I think I'm just gonna wing it. I'm thinking of adding some orange, some blue, maybe some purple. I don't know. We'll just see how I feel. It's all about feelings, my, my guys. Um, and I'll be right back with what that looks like. Boom. I drew some inspiration from the Dragon Tales seashell. You can't really tell what the colors are, but kind of going for a rainbow vibe. I also added a little bit of yellow and pink dry brushing to the barnacles, hoping it just adds a little bit of texture to those. And I also carved in eyes and the fins on these bad boys and added a little bit of real orange underglaze to the little clownfish over there. So what we're gonna do next is this little starfish heaver. Let me, uh, I don't know how I'm gonna do the starfish. I'm thinking of just winging it, adding colors and dots as I see fit. So let me go do that and I'll be right back. Boom, we got the starfish here. Look at that guy. I think he looks pretty cute. That's all we're gonna do on this part of the mock, which means we can move on to the octopus. Finally, I think it's getting a little bit out of hand, <laughs> but before we go and move on to the octopus, I'm gonna go make a smoothie because I have been in here for four hours, I think, and I've been working on this bad boy. So I'll be right back with a smoothie. All right, friends, we back. Got myself a blueberry avocado banana coconut milk smoothie. Pretty good. Would be better with raspberries though, am I right? We are moving on to the octopus finally. Here's my reference photo for if you're interested. I think I'm gonna start with this amethyst and go around the tentacles and the crevices and maybe do some of that, I don't know, kind of veiny looking stuff. I'll go into all these crevices around and leave some highlights. The webbing also looks a little yellow, but I'm just gonna start with the amethyst and then I'll be right back with the next steps. Boom. All right, there's your octopus with the amethyst. I know it looks a little weird right now, but we're hoping, well, I'm hoping, that with the layering, it'll look better. I don't really like Amico underglazes that much because the colors don't turn out the way that you think that they would sometimes, and it's annoying. I think I'm going to go in with the lilac and do some highlights, maybe some red, maybe some orange, maybe some yellow, but I'll do the lilac first and then I'll show you how it looks. All right, while we're waiting for me to do that, let's hear a message from our very own CEO, Blue. Ain't Blue a little flower enthusiast? Boom, there's our lilac added. I think it looks pretty good. I still think it needs more layers of stuff. The color I'm gonna go in with next is red. I'm gonna try not to use too much red. I wanna use a little bit. So I just wanna shade some of these tentacles with tinges of red, go up into his face with some red, and also the skull a little bit. I'm gonna go and do that. Boom, that's the red added. I don't know if I like it. It looks a little bloody now. So I'm gonna go in with the yellow, he thinks. Try to mute the red a little bit and add some definition in some places. Let's see if that helps. So I'll be right, I'll be right back. Boom. So I added the yellow and then I blended it all together. I still feel like there's something missing. I don't know what. I kind of want to go in with some blue though. I think I might go in with the light blue just to highlight some of these areas. Maybe I'll also go in with some black in the deep, deep crevices just to bring out the octopus a little bit more. I feel like it's still kind of washed out. We'll see how that looks and then I'll be back. Boom, there's the light blue added. I think it does add quite a bit. And now I think I'm gonna go in with the black and outline some of the shadows. I still need to do the eyes, um, but we'll see how the shadows look. Boom. All right, there is our octopus with the black added. I actually didn't add straight black, but I blended it with the amethyst. 
think it looks pretty good. It's hard to know what it's gonna look like once it's done. So yeah, I think I'm gonna add the eyes next and I'm just gonna paint the eyeballs brown and then do a little rectangle pupil and that will be the octopus eyes. Boom, there's our octopus. I think he looks pretty cute. The only other thing I wanna add is some hearts on the rim, I think. It'd be cute. And I'm just gonna do that with some slip. I think one on either side of the I love you. I'll be back with the finished decoration. Bam! All right, this is the finished mug. It's a little overkill. I know. <laughs> they kind of got away from me there. But I think it looks pretty good. The octopus there. It says I love you on the rim there with the hearts. And I hope he likes it. Now I just have to fire it, glaze it, fire it again. Gosh, am I tired. All right, I'm going to go clean all this up. Hello, friends. It's Paige from the Future here to show you the finished mug. Let me give you a zoom. Here she be, my dudes. I think it turned out pretty well. I don't know, what do you guys think? The octopus turned out pretty good, I think. It did turn out different than what I thought, but I still think it looks pretty good. The I love you on the rim turned out nicely. The fish turned out well, the starfish. Clownfish looks pretty cute. My dragon tails shell looks pretty good. I think the jellyfish are my favorite though. They're pretty cool. There's a little sun on the bottom as always. I'll be giving this to my dad next week and I hope he likes it. I'm really excited to hear what he has to say about it and I'm just happy to be giving him something made with so much love and care that he can drink out of every day. He loves coffee, puts a little bit too much sugar in it, I might say though. And he also loves chocolate and this mug is kind of chocolate colored. So I think that works out pretty good. What the hell's that other page up to on the right? Thanks for hanging out with me today in the studio. I really appreciate it. I hope you all are taking care of yourselves and each other and I hope to see you in my next video. Now say goodbye to all your friends.